That's gonna be my hair. That's so crazy. <laughs> I feel like a new human. We got some packages. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. On campus. Fancy, fancy dinner tonight. And Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another college week in my life. Let's get it. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. I had my presentation this morning for my group. Basically, we did a presentation on um, for our apparel quality and analysis class, and it's a business simulation. So we create a core product. We create a business. We all have different positions. We literally find where we're sourcing from, where we're manufacturing at. It's a really cool project, and it's very applicable to real life, so I love it. We're gonna go for a little walk. We're gonna go get some Chick-fil-A breakfast. I'm in the mood for a chicken mini and some hash browns. A lot of you guys told me to try their coffee. I have tried their coffee and I don't like it really at all. Here is my outfit. Honestly, it's kind of stylish, but I really was just going for comfort. I just threw on this set from um, Motel Rocks, it says Angel Energy, and then my Aritzia Puffer over top, my new favorite beanie ever from Urban, Urban Bag, um, Air Force One Sages, I think they're called. At 4 p.m., you guys, it's hair extension day. We're getting some, just one row of hair extensions to add some thickness, a little length. I'm really nervous because this is something so out of my comfort zone, but yeah, all right, I'm so hungry, let's go. Bag is secured. All right, you guys, it was worth the walk. Gonna watch some YouTube, maybe, while I eat this? I don't know, having a morning. Oh my gosh, this is your sign to get breakfast. The morning essentials, computer, planner, blue light glasses, they're always on, linked on my Amazon shop, that's always linked down below, pen, and we're gonna start planning the morning. Oh my gosh, the sun's coming out. This is a blessing. This, oh. All right, let's see what today's quote of the day is. Everything is figure outable. <laughs> I love that. That goes hand in hand with my goal to kind of just go with the flow more this year. Last year taught me that you can't always plan everything. I think we could all agree on that. So I love this. Just go day by day and everything is figure outable. I love that. I'm gonna start filling this in. Right, you guys so I just wrote my to-do list for today I yesterday on Sunday I'm doing this thing now where I kind of try to do it a lot but I haven't been doing it as much so I'm gonna start doing it actually every Sunday where I write down all of my homework for that week like the due dates everything just for that week because it's so overwhelming to put all of that in my Google Calendar. It just kind of makes my calendar super messy just for like assignments and everything. So on Sundays, I'm just gonna kind of look through and see what's due that week and what is due when and how I'm gonna do those, time management, everything of the sorts. So, and I just made a little document of all of my classes and the typical homework and assignments that we have each week. So I know what to kind of expect and be like, oh, by now I should have like had a discussion post or something. I don't know if that makes sense, but it really helps me. I just do that on the notes app because it connects to my iCloud. So it goes on my phone, my computer, anything. I go on that app, it's there. I haven't even had coffee today yet. So crazy. But today's to-do list in particular, I try not to overwhelm myself. I try to only write things down that I'm gonna most likely get done that day. Sometimes I move it over to the next day, but these are the realistic things I'd like to get done today. And two of these things are due tonight, so or tomorrow morning, but tonight in my brain. I have to do a group rating, like a peer review for my business simulation class I just did. Basically, since we just did that group presentation, I have to rate all of my uh, team members and write a little thing about what we did. Um, I have to do a journal for my creativity process class. Um, I'm not sure what this week's journal prompt is. Last week it was if animals or if our pets could talk, what would be the consequences? It's a very interesting class, kind of random, but also it really gets you thinking. It really pulls the creativity out of you. 
um, and I really do enjoy it. So that's kind of cool. And I think I also have something else for that class, but I have to look. I'm gonna start this week's Google Doc for my walk-in class. A lot of you guys think it's so funny. I put, I have to take, I took a selfie with my Apple Watch showing like I am wearing this watch. I took those steps. I walked that long with that heart rate. And then also a screenshot of my Apple activity fitness thing on my phone. And then I have a discussion post for my apparel quality and analysis class that is also due tonight. And I'd like to get all of this done now because it's Monday, which means bachelor's tonight. So, and I'm gonna be at the hair salon getting my hair extensions. Uh, so I cannot, I'm like so emotional about it. So great, Delaney! Did you get chicky? I got chicky. Oh my goodness, she did it! Dude, now it's sunny. You probably had a much nicer walk than I did. No, because it was 10 times windier. It was windier? Let me know if you guys want me to keep doing that. A lot of people requested for it, so that's why I'm doing it, but y'all just let me know. All right, gotta do some drawing for my creativity class. It's like three different types of sketches. Update, the hair is now up. I am doing the last little bit of this um, sketching. And I just booked my grad photos. Like what? Like my shoot to take grad photos? Like I just booked that. Like that is happening in March, end of March. I am shooting with Stephanie Cintron. I love her. If you guys live in Athens, you guys should definitely book an appointment or a shoot with her. I don't really know the correct terminology, but she takes amazing photos. I've shot with her before and she has such amazing ideas for my grad pics because I want to be unique and different for my grad pics like everyone always says. So we'll see if that actually happens, but she has really cool ideas and I'm so excited to um, like run around campus and take some pictures with my cap and gown, some more funky pics, maybe by the stadium or by the Georgia Theater. I'm really excited. It's, I don't know if that's a thing everywhere, but it's a thing here where you take, you know, professional grad photos, um, you know, around campus at some of the landmarks and just to kind of commemorate your graduation. So it's so crazy. We just put a date down in the books. It's happening. Literally making a grad pic and spo board on Pinterest because I'm crazy like that. <laughs> All right guys, it's 12.30 and I already got five, six things done off of both my to-do lists, off of my work and side hustle list on my planner. I got six things done, four of them were for school, which I'm just so happy about. I'm so excited. I'm starting this week off on a good note. Um, there are pros to waking up early and I do realize that every time I actually wake up earlier than nine. Um, I'm gonna hop in the shower now and wash my hair because she wanted my hair to be more freshly washed and this is totally like fourth day at this point so i'm gonna hop in the shower wash my hair probably blow dry it too um maybe put on a little makeup who knows and then uh brooke and i are recording for the podcast at two we're doing a solo episode today where, where it's just like her and i no guests because a lot of you guys request us to do more of those um but we're still going to be having guests because we do love having guests on it's been really really fun but this week's episode is going to kind of be a follow-up on my video i posted last wednesday about just like the fear of growing up and how it's scary and kind of like from a about to graduate senior and a post-grad perspective from Brooke. I think it's gonna be a really good episode and I just took a ton of notes and kind of planned that all out. So definitely go listen to our podcast, Gals in the Go podcast. I love it. We post new episodes every Wednesday. <laughs> All right, you guys, I just showered, feeling fresh. I just put on my Free People super long sweatshirt dress thing. We got some packages in the mail today. They just delivered them. And I thought it'd be fun to do a little unboxing haul. These are random things I've ordered the last few weeks. Maybe one's PR, I don't really recognize the name. So some PR, some things I ordered. So I'm really Excited. This is from Sweet A Boutique. Each week on Girls and Go podcast, we highlight a different small business and we always like to support it as well. So I got this fun set that I'm really excited to try on. So it's called Sweet, like a hotel Sweet A Boutique. I got this awesome velour, uh, not jumpsuit, sweat set, I guess you could say, zip up set. It's so cute. It's this light blue color. I, oh my gosh, I am obsessed. I'm having a cheetah girl moment right here. I feel like they wore this. And then matching 
pants. So fun. I love doing this small business of the week every week because we learn so much about all these cool new brands and I find really cool pieces. Oh, I'm excited about this one. My friend Keaton and her friend Natalie created this company called Twin Flames. You guys probably already know, especially if you follow her. And I have a Twin Flame sweatshirt. Um, from like her first drop ever that I love and I still wear all the time. It's such good quality. So I wanted to support her and buy the sweat set because I mean, come on, it's so nice. And I didn't have like a nude one. So this is the top. It says Twin Flames, it's just this tan color. And then on the back it says when two souls meet. Love the sweats. They're just the same color obviously to match, to wear them together or separately. And then it's got the um, Twin Flames logo on the inside which I didn't know. That's so cool. And on the side here it says Twin Flames baby. So really excited to sport this set. It is so cold here in Athens right now. So pumped. Oh my gosh and it came with stickers. I did not know of this. Next up from Golden Hour Co. You guys know I wear that Chanel turn lock necklace like it's my job all the time. Marco takes, um, you know, buttons or pendants or random things on Chanel items and other um, designers as well, such as Dior, um, YSL, just random things. They'll take like zippers and stuff and make them into necklaces. They basically repurpose them, which I think is the coolest thing. So while this is not from Chanel, it is from a real Chanel piece, which I think gives it an even cooler story. Um, the one that I bought, it's starting to get a little rusty on the top part. Like it's really not at all, but just like on the top part, it's getting a little coppery and I make sure not to wear it in water or anything. And they reached out to me and I bought my last one and they were like, hey, we are so thankful for you supporting us all the time. And we figured out a new way to kind of restore it so that shouldn't happen. So they sent me a new one that I can put on my chain, which is so sweet. They said it's like the slightest bit different. It's a little smaller, but I kind of don't mind that because I can kind of switch it up if I want. So yeah, for reference, this is what my old one looked like. It has this top part just turning a little copper. So I'm going to put this on this chain. Oh my goodness, I just put it on. It looks amazing. Ah, I love it. Last but not least, we have a package from Lucy Paris. And they just sent me some PR things I got to pick out from a lookbook. I always... So the first thing they sent me is the Jax Fuzzy Cardigan. I love this. You guys know I'm really into neutrals right now. They're very on trend in general as well. Or I could wear a turtleneck and keep it buttoned, add some necklaces. And then I'm so excited about this. I definitely remember picking this out. It's just this black long sleeve ribbed top. It's stretchy, which we always love. And it has this really cool neckline. That's my little unboxing haul. That was seven minutes. Wow, this is gonna be another long college week of my life vlog, but hey. We're here for it. I know you guys are too. Here is my little lunch of the day. Some leftover bonza pasta that we made for dinner the other night. And getting back on the computer, getting some more to-do list stuff done before we record Gals on the Go. You guys, the Dyson Airwrap has done it once again. Literally just blow dry my hair in five minutes. I just used the blow dryer feature just to dry my hair a little bit more and then use the brush. And here we are. Also heard the Dyson Airwrap's back in stock now because it was sold out everywhere. So I'll link it down below if you guys are curious, but it's definitely worth the investment. I love it. Um, I'm gonna change into some normal clothes, finally make some coffee, get ready to record. Oh, Brian's calling me. Hello. Hey, how's it going, kiddo? Good. Alrighty, we're gonna try one of these Stumptown coffee cold brews with oat milk. Very excited, I already put the ice in this mason jar, you know. All right, here we go, the best part. Oh, I just love pouring coffee. Hi. Hello, here with Brooke. About to record. Happy Monday, <laughs> woo! And Danielle, welcome back to the show. We're excited to be back at it with just an episode of us two this time. Okay, so full 180, Brooke and I just finished recording, put me in the best mood, as always. It's an amazing episode. We talk about the fear of growing up, and our tips, talking about realistic expectations. It's a great episode, one of our favorites, I'd say, at least one of my favorites, so definitely go check it out. It'll be up by the time you guys are watching this video. I decided to put on a little makeup and dress cute because I'm getting hair extensions, it's exciting, and even if it's dark out, I'm not taking pictures, like, I wanna feel like a boss walking out of there, so it's just a little thing. So I just put on my new top, I really like it, very flattering, Lucy Paris. Pants are from Revolve. They're these trouser styles. It shows how short my torso is though because look how high-waisted these come up literally right here um, This belt is from YSL this necklace that I got today boots are from Mark Fisher. I love them Bringing my computer doing homework while I'm there 
Gal on the go, I know, really proud. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys there. All right, you guys, that's gonna be my hair. That's so crazy. I'm so excited. Things are happening. Ah! Oh my gosh, who is she? Who is she? You guys, this is not... <laughs> We're about to like trim and like shape it all, but. All right, you guys, we're done. This is Candace. Hi. She's the best human ever. If you live in Athens, near Athens, check her out. I'll have her little Instagram link down below. You killed it, dude. This nice. looks amazing. I love I'm it. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. It's I feel. Changing. Yes, I just feel like a new human. But still me. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yay. Okay. Guys, I knew I was going to like it, but I didn't know how much. We ended up going a little longer. And then week, if I'm feeling it, I will go back and cut. But you can't add more. You know, you can cut, but you can't add again. So we're keeping it long. I, this, uh, the, uh, uh, this is so crazy. Like, oh my gosh. You guys, uh, okay, my camera's about to die. Holy crap. I keep like looking in the mirror. I'm like, wait, who is that? Oh, wait, that's me. I'm... This is so cool. Okay, my camera's about to die. Okay, my mom has literally no idea. So we're FaceTiming her. I pray she answers. I'm inspired by TK for this because she just like, hello? I'm having dinner. What? You're having dinner? Well, mm -hmm. I want to show you my hair. Oh, what you doing? And Michael's here too. Oh, wow. Delaney just helped me. She was my hype woman and I literally no one has any idea that I did this except for like a couple of my friends So I'm really excited to post. All right, you guys. I literally still cannot get used to this in the camera This is so freaky. This reminds me of like freshman year Danny. This is so weird um, It's a lot later now. It's now 1158. Oh my gosh, it's almost midnight and I've, I don't even know the last clip you guys saw, but basically my camera's about to die, so I put it in the charger, watch The Bachelor. I'm so into the season. And then I had to finish some assignments because I thought I was gonna get homework done at the hair salon. I simply did not. I was so amazed by this hair extension process. It was just, and it was not as long. It literally took her an hour to put them in. When I get my hair colored, it takes like three hours. So I was just like so impressed. Um, I didn't do any color today, but anyways, I'm gonna get into that. I wanted to sit down and just kind of talk a little bit about my experience, what we did, because I feel like a lot of people ask questions, um, because I didn't know anything. I was just sitting there like a sponge asking her all these questions. And needless to say, I'm very, very happy I did it. I ended up going longer than I thought, because basically she was like, she, everyone in the salon was like, keep the length, keep the length. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's just so dramatic, but also I really do love it. And the thing is, if we cut any, you can't just like put it back on. So I meant she was like, give it a week. And if like in a week, I feel like it's too long or something, I can get it trimmed then. But for now, I am really, really happy. I think hair extensions are a great way of enhancing your hair and your hair's color without actually coloring it. So we didn't do any color today. We're slowly just trying to make my hair look and feel a little bit healthier. Um, the first step was um, doing the root smudge, as you guys know, last December. I basically just did two front blonde money pieces and instead of like going in with more highlights up top, we did a root smudge. This is more of my natural color coming in and I feel like it looks super natural. But so today when she just added the extensions, it just brought out the blonde in my hair more. She matched it to my hair, but there's just more of it, so it just enhances it. So I think that's a really cool thing and something people don't always think about with extensions and what Candace wanted to do. She was like, yeah, I wanna add length and everything, but I think it's just gonna make your hair, it's just like gives your hair a whole new revamp. And I think sometimes extensions have this, I don't wanna say negative connotation, but they at least did in my head for a while. So many notes while I was sitting there because I wanted to tell you guys all about it. So I went to Tribe Hair Company here in Athens. My girl Candace, she's amazing. If you live in Athens, near Athens, go to her. She's awesome. I don't know, it's just kind of cool. Like if you got a bad haircut, if you, if your hair is kind of fried, but you want to stay blonde and it's hard to stay blonde naturally, it's hard to stay blonde in a super, super healthy way, especially if you want to do this more platinum blonde, hair extensions are a great band-aid for that, she was kind of saying. And 
Um, so we did one row, which I guess means six wefts. So six of those pieces that you guys see. So that's one row. And if you want like the super long mermaid hair, usually people will do two rows. She went for the hand tied. So they're hand tied in. Um, I, I haven't even like looked at them really. Like I saw when she was putting them in, but you cannot really see them. She did a specific tie. Basically, you can get different extensions based off your lifestyle. Cause I never got them because I was like, I like to work out. I like to put my hair in a ponytail. There's just different ways that you can tie them in based off of. So like I, she knows I put wear my hair up a good amount. I mean, that might change now with the extensions. I don't really know, but she like did it a certain way. She called it a seamless way where I can still do ponytails. So it like lifts with it. I, that part, I still a little confused on, but I'm really happy she did that. Um, so we went for more of density because my hair used to be so much thicker and I miss it um, So we went for density with a little length obviously more length than I thought but I'm here for it This is the highest grade Remy cuticle 100% hair um, Which I actually didn't know it was 100% hair. That is really crazy cool um, all ethically Harvested if you will. So yeah, this is just kind of how we want it. I wanted to make my hair look healthier I've been really self-conscious about my hair recently and i've been like looking back at my photos even from just freshman year of college and how different my hair looked i am so impressed with how natural they look it seriously took my confidence through the roof and like obviously everyone's just been the kindest ever and this is like a bit i don't really do like dramatic stuff like this a lot well, i mean i guess i do sometimes but this is a big deal for me and it's still weird like i walk in my bathroom I'm like but yeah, I think sometimes people think extensions have equal longer hair, and yes, I did go for length as well, but it's not always the case. Sometimes it's a healing process, sometimes it's just to add some density. So if you're looking for just like a little upgrade, I mean, go to your local salon, go to Tribe here in Athens if you live here. Have a consultation, see what they think, because I was just really, really amazed. Anyways, I just popped two melatonins. I'm in a, I have a ton of stuff on my bed I need to clean. I bought more Olaplex today at the hair salon. This is my favorite shampoo and conditioner, along with um, purple shampoo, but this stuff's amazing, especially if you're blonde. So I need to put some stuff away clean, wash my face. I'm glad I ended up wearing makeup because I've taken like pictures and stuff today, obviously. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, and I just got so much homework done. Like I literally, cause I didn't end up, anyways, I need to stop talking. This is already so long. I'm so self-conscious about it, but I know you guys like long vlogs. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. We've got class and other random stuff. Pretty much just class, but that's okay. That's okay. We're going on campus tomorrow. Ooh. For a second, I forgot my hair was long. I slept with two pimple patches on. See how the white spot like comes about? That means it worked apparently. for my 9.35 creativity class. Our professor is now telling us that we are doing breakout rooms today. Do those make you guys nervous? They make me so nervous. There's only like two or three people. All right, all right, all right. All right, you guys, class is over. I'm gonna do today's to-do list quickly for you guys because I know you guys are liking that a lot. I have an activity for my brand management. These are th these are pretty lofty goals, but I'm like free this whole evening and everything, so I feel like I'm gonna be able to get a lot done. And I told you guys my goal is to have all my homework done as much as I can by Wednesday nights. So that's like my goal. Um, so this is what I want to get done today. If some of this has to move till tomorrow, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. But my fashion brand management activity that we have due Friday, also a discussion post for that class. And then I have my reading circle number two, for my textile econ class where we're reading this book and we have different roles each week and we have a smaller group discussion about it. So yeah, that's my work to-do list, side hustle list, aka YouTube and stuff. I just um, submitted the podcast to our producer so he can edit that for this week. Um, so I guess I can cross that one off. I have to record a TikTok for um, Strike Magazine, the magazine I'm involved with here at UGA, respond to my emails, and edit my week weekend in my life vlog. That's like priority because I post every Wednesdays and Sundays and tomorrow's Wednesday. So that takes big priority. I would like to shower. That would be nice. That's the plan. I'm gonna go meet up with Ryan for coffee and or lunch because I really need coffee, but I'm also really hungry, but I don't really know where his head's at. Um, so yeah. 
A lot of you guys asked in my last vlog, not a lot of you, but there were some comments about how we like we are not together 24-7. And I feel like we just spend a lot more time together on the weekends. Like Thursday to Sunday, we're together a lot. We see each other pretty much every night, or at least Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then during the weekdays, maybe we'll hang out one night and then we'll do like coffee or lunch or something in the day we're just both such independent people and i just love how a relationship is like that and i don't really know i just think it's really really healthy and i'm really really happy with it and i sometimes don't even always show in my vlogs when we're hanging out because i don't know i mean he he's so happy to be on camera and everything but i know like it's not as natural for him and when i'm with him i'm honestly not thinking about it which is one of the reasons i kind of love being with him and being his girlfriend because i don't know I just am very in the moment when I'm with him. So, I don't know, I just wanted to say that. But um, he's very supportive of everything I do. And I see him a lot in the best way. So, yeah, this is one of our little daily, like, let's meet up. We're both busy, but let's, like, chat and see each other. So, I'm going to meet up with him on campus. I'm actually gonna drive there, I think. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. On campus. So it's freezing. <laughs> yeah, it is really cool. Just met some subscribers. Shout out to Kevin and Rhea. Okay. And now we are headed to Barbaritos. Feeling a little, a little bowl action, a little burrito bowl. You do a salad bowl, right? I do a burrito. Oh, a burrito a in burrito. general. I am in heaven. Nice. He got the burrito. Mm -hmm. All right, gang. The candle's back in business. Just poured another one of these Stump Town iced coffees with the oat milk. I'm really liking them. They're just so easy. Editing tomorrow's vlog and just get other stuff to done on my to-do list. And then we're gonna shower and put on some makeup because I'm shooting a TikTok thing for Strike. And um, I may ask Delaney to help me take a picture because I don't have any pictures in the new hair, you know? I also just got word that we are restocking this baby next Tuesday, February 9th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on doingwelldaily.com. And I know a lot of you guys wanted to get your hands on one and they have sold out every drop, which is so exciting, but also I wanna make sure as many of you guys can get it as possible. So we're restocking again next Tuesday. Get so excited, I'm so pumped. Um, I have a whole video up called, I think it's called Plan With Me. Um, I filmed that back in December. If you guys wanna go see all about the planner, I talked about it on there. I made a TikTok about it. I made, um, I have an Instagram story highlight answering a ton of questions. So follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn. Um, and go check out that highlight. And yeah, I'm so excited. But I wanted to let you guys know. So doingwelldaily.com next Tuesday, February 9th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, you guys just finished editing this weekend of my life vlog. And I'm just really happy with that. I did some fun new editing. Um, so go watch it. If you guys haven't watched it yet, go back and watch it before you watch this vlog. Squirm, but the view is great. I just poked myself so bad. Always talk during shows. But... <laughs> I just like had fun like doing this graphic. I don't know. Okay. I'm just really proud. Okay. Okay guys I just did some light makeup and fixed my hair a little bit just showered um, And I changed into this outfit that I'm wearing for this strike styling thing we're doing um, I don't really want to say what it is yet because I don't think they've like announced the campaign or whatever, but um I'll post about it when it comes up because it's really, really cool. Just updated my Amazon page a little bit. Um, it's linked down below. I think it's amazon.com slash shop slash Danielle Marie Carolyn maybe. Yeah, I added a ton of stuff that I use in my day to day. Skincare, beauty, some fashion stuff, some of like our favorite games that we have, coffee stuff. I mean, you name it, it's on here. And yeah, I can always add stuff too if you guys want me to. Okay, so today's just a really random day. <laughs> So Ryan and I, when we were together earlier, we realized oh, today is Ryan and I's 23 month anniversary and we're probably gonna stop counting these after two years, like just like go by the year. But I don't know, it's been kind of fun for to be like every month, like, oh, the second, like, hey, I don't know, it's just kind of fun. Um, so when we were at lunch earlier, he was like, well, I assume we're going to dinner, right? And I was like, for what? And he's like, well, I, you know, anniversary, and I was like, sure I'm not gonna say no and I wasn't really sure if that was actually happening and he just called me and was like do you want to go to dinner and I was like actually I'm so hungry so yeah let's do it that's kind of random but I'm kind of here for it um if we knew that we probably wouldn't have gotten lunch this morning obviously but 
you know, it's okay. I really don't have groceries, so I'm justifying this. We're gonna go eat Italian, of course. I don't really know where. He just said Italian. This is my dinner outfit. Any excuse I get to get dressed up, you guys know I'll take. Um, this top is from Revolve. I absolutely love it. Um, it's sweater material. It's great for the winter time. Um, all the same jewelry, commando leggings that I was wearing earlier, and then my boots are from Mark Fisher. So yeah, that's tonight's outfit. I'm gonna add a coat, and I am so excited to grab on some pasta. Yeah. That's funny. And, uh... Dinner time. It's almost 10 o'clock now. Just watched some TV with Delaney. I would have liked to get a little bit more work done, but... I'm so tired, like, that I already want to, like, just turn off the lights. <laughs> oh, it's really dark now. I'm gonna read a little bit. I did that last night, and it helped me really fall asleep just more peacefully, I feel like, instead of being on my phone on TikToks. I feel like it kind of wakes you back up. I'm reading Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover right now. It's really good. I love Colleen Hoover's books. Uh, another day in the books. I feel like this vlog's probably already 30 minutes, <laughs> um, but I will see you guys in the Wednesday and I hear the birds chirping. I don't know why I love waking up to the birds chirping. It's super sunny, but don't be fooled. It was 28 degrees when I woke up. I think it's already warming up a little bit. What? All right, guys, let's see what today's quote is. Visualize your highest self and start showing up as her. All right, you guys headed to my retail planning and buying class. We're doing an Excel activity. Here is my fit. It's really cold out. Sweater is from Princess Polly. Leggings, Commando, boots, ASOS. Um, my hair, I'm still loving it. It's still curled. Updated it a little bit, but nothing crazy. Added some dry shampoo, showered, necklace. You guys know from boutiques. So, can I add a jacket? We're gonna go. Back from class in the car now. Um, I am a little overwhelmed. Excel is not my strong point. I'm still learning a lot about it. Um, and retail planning and buying is a lot of math. And But I feel a little bit better because it's not as hard as I thought. It's just like getting to know the controls of Excel. Because once you know, then it's actually quite easy to get the math. It's just, I don't know. I'm still learning. So it was a little overwhelming, a little discouraging, but it's okay. Um, now I'm in the parking lot, about to meet up with my friend Nadia at Cafe on Lumpkin. It's this amazing lunch place. We actually came here a while back. We're on Strike Magazine together. She's actually, she's one of the editor in chiefs. So she's, I mean, a lot more higher up than I am, but I love her so much. We're literally the same person. So we always try to find some time to meet up and inspire each other. And just, I don't know, we're both like the same person. So it's just really refreshing to be with someone that just gets you. So we're just gonna have a little, a little chat, a little lunch. They have this beautiful outdoor area that we're gonna sit at. So yeah, it's cold out, but it's so sunny and so beautiful. So I'm, I'm thankful for that. All right guys, I'm here with Nadia. We just got our food, say hi. I'm literally about to dig in. We are both big breakfast people, so very excited. This is my second breakfast. This is her first, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's way later. I'm really proud of myself. I got all of my homework done that's due tonight. I still have some stuff that's due tomorrow, but that's okay. We got the stuff that's due tonight out of the way, and I'm really happy with that because I seem to be a late night worker, but it's it's not late night yet, and I got it all done, so I'm really happy. Headed to spin class, uh, everything, sports bra, Lululemon, leggings, Lululemon, TM spin shoes, puffer from Hollister. This is my first time spinning with the extensions, um, I have to figure out how to put my hair up. She said low pony. This is just gonna be so weird. I also love to like whack my ponytail when I'm spinning, so updates to come. All right, ponytail hopefully secured. Updates to come. Update, um, spinning with the hair, with the hair wasn't as bad as expected. I didn't feel as free to like whip my hair, but other than that, it was pretty good. Um, I don't think I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna go shower though, so. It's like a class, I'm like still out of breath.
All right, you guys, oh my gosh, I cannot get used to my hair yet still. <laughs> um, I just had my class and I made breakfast and I've been doing homework. I have so much homework every week. In each class, I have like mini assignments every week that have different facets of them that I have to keep track of. I'm not complaining, I'm just stating. Brooke and I are considering adding someone to the team, which I'm very excited about. To the Gals on the Go team, so her and I we're about to FaceTime. Just realized I haven't updated the vlog in a while. It's now like almost two o'clock playing and I've been out here working. If you guys care to know, I'm working on my massive, massive list of homework. Um, and Delaney is doing homework right now too. I did want you guys to know, she's not lazy. I'm not lazy. She's not lazy. Currently working on this project um, for my brand management club, researching the history of Christian Dior and their technological changes, consumer demands, everything of the sorts, and it is really fun. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um, literally just trying to knock out all of this, and then I just have to spin it for, and other than that, we just chillin'. Delaney's in her 220 class right now, and I am now right, I'm on to my next thing. I finished that brand management project. I am now working on my retail planning and buying class, I'm doing the homework that's due this week, and I'm also writing down all the formulas from this chapter because I wanna basically just have all the formulas compiled. Like now we're doing total markup dollar, total markup percent, um, total retail, stuff like that. It's all pretty simple, but it can all get kind of jumbled. So I'm just putting it all on one piece of paper so I can remember it and study that for the quiz. We are now on to lunch. Today's lunch, Trader Joe's frozen fried rice. It's delicious. We are going to another spin class today. Lululemon, leggings, Lululemon, shoes the same, hair extensions. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my white puffer as well. We're gonna head to been. It's cloudy out. It's pretty dreary. Um, yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Let's go. <laughs> Just finished spin, picking up some juices and some shots. It's a good afternoon. All right, you guys, we are back now. I went to Arden's Garden on my way back um, because I haven't gotten any really this week and I kept telling myself I was gonna get a smoothie slash ginger shots, so here we are. Then Delaney called me and said she'd go pick us up to a Chipotle and I was like, okay, then I don't need a smoothie right now, I'll just get a green juice. So I got the Yoga One green juice. It's got pineapple juice, apple juice, spinach, kale, ginger, lemons, and distilled water. However, I need to stop getting this one because it tastes really fruity. Like, you can't even taste the greens at all and I like the taste of fruit, but I am drinking that right now. And then I got two immunity shots. These are ginger shots with lemon, pineapple juice, and cayenne pepper in them as well. So I'm gonna take one right now with you guys, so. Oh, that one burns. Woo, ginger shots. All right, fancy, fancy dinner tonight. Still finishing my juice, and the vibes are just so nice right now. I haven't even eaten yet, I nearly ate, but I'm listening to my study beats playlist on Spotify. I'm just trying to like get all this homework done. Like after I work out, I feel like I just have a new sense of motivation and focus. Just submitted that assignment, so you know what that means. It's Chipotle time. I get brown rice, black beans, chicken, mild pico, and lettuce and chips. All right, you guys, it is now 7.15 and I'm about to cross off because my planner was in here when I was at my computer out there. Okay, I'm crossing off my walking quiz, my econ activity, my econ discussion. All I have left is one more retail assignment. And then I'm done. And then I'm done! <laughs> I'm like really getting stuff done today and I'm very, very happy about it. Um, but I simply need to shower now. Um, so, I was about to write shower. No, I'll just do that. I don't need to write that too. Y'all, do you see this? Everything is done. Like, I did all those things today. I, ah! I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm still watching Imposter, just gonna get in bed. Actually, no, I'm gonna eat the rest of my Chipotle. Hee <laughs> hee. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this super long week in my life. I'm loving my extensions still. I'll have information down below and any links I said I'd have, those are also down below. Subscribe if you guys are new here. I love you, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday for my next video. Bye-bye.